Okay. Bilang. Okay. 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 Gandang hapon. Welcome po kayo ngayon sa Sogi Lecture ng Patas. Ako po ang inyong lecture, si Arfel L. Payona, isa pong USD grad student ng microbiology na nag specialize sa mycology o pag-aaral ng mga fungi. Sa ang paksa po na inyo ay tungkol sa Sogi or sexual orientation, gen, sexual orientation, gender identity, and expression. Well, uh, first of all, let's, gusto ko pong tugulan ang dalawang napaka-importanting katanungan. First question is, why won't we support the happiness of others that do us no harm? Why won't we be happy about the happiness of others, especially kung wala namang uh, kapintasang ginagawa ito sa ating mga sagli? Why won't we be happy for others? Why won't others be happy for us? Also, why the obsession on the sex life and identity of other people? Bakit tayo obsessed kung, sa, kung sinong minamahal ng iba at kung anong ekspresyon o identity meron sila? Hindi ba, na atin, hindi ba pwedeng atin, namang, atin lang na respetuhin ang bawat isa? Why can't we respect each other? Why can't we respect each other's happiness? Why can't we respect each other's identity and sex life? So, let's, let me discuss about the LGBTQIA community. What does LGBTQIA mean? LGBTQIA means first L is lesbians, G, gays, B, bisexuals, T, trans person, Q, queer, I, intersex, and A, asexuals. Lesbians uh, refer to people or women who have sexual preference for other women. Gays naman are men who have sexual preference to, with other men. Bisexuals naman are people who, are, who have sexual preference, who have sexual relationship with either the male or the female gender. A trans person is any individual whose sexual identity does not conform or agrees with their sex or with their sex assignment. A queer person is uh, is a general term for anyone who does not strictly adhere to the male or female category. An intersex man is an individual who has the male and female sexual characteristics or has a vague sexual characteristics to assign them to a specific gender. Asexual men are people who has no who doesn't who has limited or has no sexual uh, uh, attraction with 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 anyone else regardless of gender male or female. What is gender? Gender is expressed in at least five different concepts or categories. One is gender identity. Two is gender expression. Three, sex assignment. Four, sexual attraction. And five, romantic attraction. Each one of these concepts is independent and different from each other. They can happen independent of the other concepts. It does, the gender identity of someone does not necessarily dictate their gender expression their gender, their sex assignment, nor their sexual attraction or their romantic attraction. They, they, are, they are different categories. I, Arfel Tayana, I am, I identify as a heteros romantic asexual, meaning I am romantically attracted to opposite sex, but not sexually attracted to anyone. My gender identity is I am a cis male. I believe I'm a, I'm a man and I have a dick or I, I was assigned a male uh, in my birth. My gender expression is masculine. I act and behave generally what is expected of a male or a man. 
My sexual characteristics, my biological sex, is that I have a dick, I have a testicle, and I have a bio, a, the biology and look of a male person. Sex assignment is what is the sex assigned by the usually by the physician at birth, usually on the basis of external genitalia. It means the external sexual organ of the individual. Usually, the sex of individual or the biological sex of individual of an individual is determined by for males the penis, females the vagina. An intersex is now is a person usually that has the genitalia of both the male, he has a penis, and the female, he has a vagina. Also, an intersex person can have vague sexual characteristics. Sometimes the development of the sexual organs is not well pronounced. Kaya, uh, the, cat, the cat, uh, characterizing the person based on their sexual genitalia is vague or un unclear. Those people are what we call intersex. Well, ang issue with the sexual assignment is that society in general uh, transcribe or gives specific gender roles for the male and the female in society, informing the family, which is the basic unit of society. Uh, the maleness or the femaleness of an individual dictates their roles in the, the family unit. Husbands are, are the pillars or the supporters of the family, while the wife is the light or the caretaker of the family. The question is, should the organ, the sexual organ of the individual determine for the person who they are? Is yung piece ba ng flesh na yun, is that piece of flesh is responsible to dictate who you are as a person? I don't think so. Another thing is, now, what about gender identity? Gender identity refers to what, what, what the person believes about himself, about themselves in matters of gender. It is one psychological sense of their gender. A person can, can believe themselves to be female, male, or, and they may conform or not to the norms of what is expected of a female or a male. There are also other genders. One is people who does not conform to any gender is called a gender. People, the man who has, who sometimes conform as female, sometimes as male, sometimes intersex or in between, are called gender fluid individuals. People, uh, non gender, non binary people are people who, uh, who does not conform to being simply male or female. It's a general term for anyone who does not consider themselves male, both male or female. Sometimes, because nga na, the gender identity of the person is different from the sex assigned to them during, at, during their birth, sometimes this misalignment has produced issues because sometimes a person can believe themselves to be male but have the gonads or genitalia of a female. People whose gender identity coincides with their, with their sexual characteristics or their assigned sex is called cisgender. For example, ako, ako isang lalaki, niniwala akong lalaki ako, at meron akong titi or tes, uh, testicles, ako ay isang cis male. Kasi nag agree ang aking perception ng aking gender, pati ang, ang sexual characteristics ko. Kaya ako ay isang cis male. Ganon din sa mga babae or sa mga cis Cis female. Ngayon naman, anong transgender? Ang transgender ay nangyari kung, for example, kung ako, yung gender identity ko ay hindi nag agree sa assigned sex ko during at birth. When their gender identity and the sex, uh, the assigned sex of the individual does not coincide or doesn't agree, that's what we call a trans person or transgender. Okay. Hindi ibig sabihin kasi na kung ano ang sex organ mo, yun na ang magdidikta sa paniniwala mo sa inyong sarili. How you determine yourself to be is not dictated by the organ or the piece of flesh that you are given with at birth. Naniniwala kami na ang 
ang self-determination, ang right to be who we are sa pamamagitan ng ating choice and choice and perception ay dapat ay nakabatay doon sa individual at hindi kung sa accident of birth nila. Another concept naman ng gender is yung gender expression. Kasi if you are in a society, if you are a male or a female, the society expects a, a, cer a certain degree of behavior and looks in relation to what society expects for a man and a woman. This is a different issue whether someone identify as male or female. Hindi ibig sabihin na nag-identify ka as male ay mag-act mag, mag ka na, mag-behave ka na, o oh, magdadamit ka na bilang lalaki. Ganon din sa mga babae. Kapag babae ka, hindi ibig sabihin ay mag express mo yung sarili mo bilang babae. Yung expression ng pagkababae o pagkalalaki ay tinatawag natin feminine o masculine. Sometimes, sometimes nangyayari na one who is assigned a girl at birth may identify as male but dresses and behave as a girl. Yun yung tiyatawag na natin na cross-dressing phenomenon. Sometimes man, may mga artists who express themselves through their gender expression. Examples nito ay mga drag queens. Sometimes, they express themselves differently during different times to express art, or beauty. For example, itong si Logan Treat, yung lalaking ito, he has, a, he has an alter ego na tinatawag, na si, tinatawag niyang si Jess Anderson. Nagdalamit at, nag, at kumikilo siyang pi, bilang babae sa so, paminsan-minsan. Pero si Logan Treat ay isang lalaki. He identifies as a male and is actually sexually attracted to female at nagdi-date siya ng mga babae. Hindi hindi na iba-iba ang relationship ng gender identity, gender sex assignment at gender expression. Another concept sa gender ay ang sexual orientation. Ang sexual orientation ay nahahati sa dalawang konsepto. Sexual attraction which is the physical attachment we have for another and romantic attraction, which is the emotional dimension of a relationship. Sometimes, yung, a person is heterosexual when the person is sexually attracted to the, to, a, to the person of the opposite gender. Ang homosexual naman is a person which is sexually attracted to, a, to the same gender. For example, lalaki na sexually attracted si isa pang lalaki. Ang bisexual naman is an individual who has sexual attraction either to the male or to the female. And uh, an asexual naman, is an asexual person, is a person that does not experience sexual attraction or has limited sexual attraction experience. A pansexual naman is an individual who does not care. Wala siyang pakialam kung ano man ang gender ng tao or how they express themselves or whatever. Important sa kanila they can form sexual relationship with anyone. That's a pansexual. For example, ako, isa akong asexual. Pero meron akong romantic attraction. I form emotional connection with an individual. Usually ako, I form romantic relationship with someone of the opposite gender. Isa ako, hetero romantic individual. Kapag uh, you are romantically attracted or you form romantic romantic relationship with the same gender, ikaw naman ay homoromantic. Same with biromantic and panromantic. Pero makapansin nyo, a person can also be aromantic. They don't form emotional attachment with anyone. Minsan, nangyari yan sa mga asexual. Usually nangyari yan sa, uh, sa asexual. People who have no sexual attraction to anyone also doesn't form romantic attraction with anyone. Pero posible din na meron kang, hete meron kang heterosexual attraction or sexually attracted ka sa isang tao pero you do not form romantic attachment. Ang habol mo lang ay sex. Kapag nangyari yun, ikaw ay isang, for example, heterosexual, aromantic individual. Sa tingin ko medyo common to, Pero it's a legitimate sexual orientation. Ang sad lang, pero ganun siya. So ulitin ko, 
ako ay isang hetero romantic asexual individual. Romantically attracted ako sa opposite sex pero hindi ako nagpo-form ng sexual attraction sa kanino man. Also, ang ex- ako ay, ang gender identity ko ay cis male because I believe I'm a male and, uh, and my sexual characteristics coincide to my maleness. Ang aking gender expression, pananamit ko at action ko ay masculine. I act in such a way na expected sa isang male individual. And my sexual characteristics, my biological sex is male kasi ang biological na katangian ko coincides with the male individual. Counting discussions sa mga asexuals, asexuals believe that love can exist without sex. Sa mga sexual uh, individuals, for example, asexuality, you don't experience sexual attraction towards people of any gender. Sometimes meron din na gray, sexu- as gray asexual. When you only form sexual uh, experience, sexual attraction, but only to certain individuals and under certain specific conditions. Yun ay gray asexual. Ako, technically, I'm an apotisexual person. Kasi, I don't experience sexual attraction at meron akong konting sexual repulsion. Hindi ko gusto na makipagtalik o magkaroon ng sexual relationship kanino man. It doesn't feel right para sa akin. In my experience, I believe I'm uh, I uh, ko, I believe I'm a, a male. I have male sex organs and I behave like a male, like a man. I also courted a lot of women. Marami akong niligawan. I have dated a lot of women. May hilig ako makipag-date. Nag-enjoy ako sa date. Nagbibigay ako ng flowers. I have people or babae na gusto kong makikita, makasama. There were a time na nung nasa Manila ako na kung saan pumupunta pa ako ng Los Baños just to be with some person na gusto ko. I have, I, in those times, I have the opportunity for sexual relationship. Open na open yung opportunity to have sexual relationship with, with some, at least some, hindi naman lahat, hindi ako ganun ka-successful na mga nililigawan ko. I had sex with women. May experience ka niyan. Ngunit, do I have do I tried to have do I have sex with women and other genders I I did try to look for someone of any gender that I can have sexual attraction to ang kaso wala wala talaga ako ng nararamdaman For example nandoon na kami sa kwarto kaming dalawa lang buong maggabi pero wala kami wala akong ginawa at wala akong nararamdaman at ang pinag-usapan lang namin ay tungkol sa science Nagkaroon din ang opportunity na pupunta ako sa bahay ng babae. Nandun na ako. Kaming dalawa lang magkasama, buo maghapon, pero wala talaga akong ramdaman at wala talagang nangyari. Kung papaano nyo, how you look sa inyong kapatid na babae o lalaki, yun lang talaga ang nararamdaman ko. Kung anong experiences nyo sa kaibigan nyo na walang sexual attraction, yun lang talaga ang nararamdaman ko. Though, Meron akong ma- sometimes meron akong matinding kagustuhan to be involved with the person. I care for them. I want their happiness. I want to be with them. I want to be part of their life. Pero wala talaga akong nararamdamang sexual attraction kanino man. I am a bit sex repulsed. Hindi talaga. I find no real. Wala akong, hindi ako nag enjoy sa mga sexual encounters. Para sa akin, isang nakakapagod lang siya at saka yung risky na masturbation. Yun lang talaga. I tried it. Minsan, I, I question myself. Nung, nung hindi ko pa na-identify yung sarili ko, I, I felt abnormal. Kasi sa, sabi ko, do gustong-gusto ko yung individual, sabi ko, parang mag, kung maging kami man or maging family, I know na hindi ko sila satisfy sexually kasi it's not really part of what interests me in a relationship. So, at that time, I was so confused kaya hindi ko alam kung gagawin. And I, and I have lost the opportunity to form long-lasting family relationship. Okay, so mahirap yan. So, isang maganda na, na identify niyo yung, yung sarili is may maliwanag kayong plano uh, and 
uh, and action sa mga iba't ibang bagay na na experience nyo in your relationship, in your sex, in your sex life. Ngayon, babay tayo sa gender unicorn, sa konsepto ng gender. Gender identity refers to what you you have in your mind, in your perception of yourself. Gender expression is how you show others your gender, your your masculinity or your femininity. It is shown through your action. Sex assignment is refers to what society assigned you during birth, usually based on your biological sexual characteristics. The sexual attraction refers to your physical involvement with another person. And romantic attraction refers to your emotional attachment to another. Ngayon, tanong natin, ano yung iba't ibang reason to be against the LGBT community? What are the different reasons to go against, the, to hate, to even hate the LGBT. Medyo common, it's very common to have religious reasons against the LGBT community. But are there secular reasons to be against the LGBT community? Some say na homosexuality is not natural. Some say homosexuality harms society. Nakakasira ito ng society, ng society natin. Homosexuality daw is a mental illness. Sakit daw ba sa pag-iisip ang homosexuality? Let's discuss first of all. Una, is homosexuality natural? Simple, simple definition, natural is any phenomenon observing nature not caused by human, human beings. Ito ba ay gusto lang ng mga tao? Ito ba ay, ay base sa, sa choices at action ng mga tao? No, I don't know. According kay Peter Bokman, no species has been found in nature which homo which homosexual behavior has not been shown or to exist ang exception lang ay yung mga species na wala na does not experience sex or are hermaphroditic in other words homosexual attraction is actually very common in nature for example itong mga research papers na ito ay pinapakita na for example in this one sexual sex sexual and pairing Partner preference in birds and other animals shows that same-sex sexual and pairing behavior are observed in many wild animals. Sexual partner preference, hypothalamic morphology and aromatose, ar aromatase in, in rams, for example, have shown that it is estimated that at least as many as 8 to 10 percent of rams, sa, or rams yung goat, sheep, or, or mga cows, exhibit a sexual partner preference for other males, classifying them as male-oriented rams. In, in make, sa, ano, sa, sa mga farm animals, it's very common na magkaroon yung tiyatawag nila na legging. Ito yung pag sa dalawang, cup, dalawang partner, sa male-male partner, sometimes yung isa would place one of their legs between at Itatouch niya ito sa sexual organ ng isa pa. Therefore, inciting sexual arousal or sexual behavior. Ang tawag dito ay legging. Homosexuality in, par in primates. For example, sexual partner preference in female Japanese macaque. Dito sa mga unggoy na ito, it was discovered na nabubuhay sa Japan. It was discovered that almost lahat sa kanila ay bisexual in orientation. It means female Japanese macaque usually form sexual pairing or sexual uh, inter interaction with male macaques and female macaques in the length of their lives. Sa buhay nila, nagpo-form sila ng relationship sa mga lalaki at nag-react relationship din sa mga babae. For example, here's picture ng dalawang bonobo na naghahalikan. It is also discovered that in bonobo societies, lahat Without exception, lalaki man ng babae ay nagpo-form ng bisexual relationship. They either they form sexual relationship with both male and female of their species. Pinapakita nito na homosexual behavior in primates is natural. Therefore, homosexuality is a natural phenomenon. Next question. Is homosexuality harmful to society? For example, dun sa well-esteemed philosophical ancient Greek society, 
it was known na that homosexual relationship in Greek society is normal. Example ito ay pederastic relationships. They form, adult, uh, they form sexual attraction between adolescent boys and adult men. And sometimes between young women and adult women. It's, it is a normal thing and well-respected in their society. Nakasama, nakasama ba to? We don't think so. Hindi nakasama ang homosexual relationship sa Greek society. It was part of their culture. Sa Pilipinas naman, during the pre-Hispanic time, Philippine society has high respect for transgender. Kasi they usually, yung mga transgender male, for example, usually sila ay gumagampan bilang mga babaylan o spiritual guides. Naniniwala kasi ang mga sinaunang mga, mga Pilipino na the male, the, male uh, the female body, the female person has the power of to brought up na magluwal ng buhay, to produce life. Therefore, kapag ang isang lalaki ay, na, ay naging babaylan o isang sexual guide para magkaroon siya ng, ng, ng female, ng life power, power, spiritual life power, kailangan niyang mag-anyo at magdamit bilang babae at mamuhay bilang babae. Kaya it is not uncommon para sa mga babaylan na magkaroon ng mga lalaking mga babaylan na magkaroon ng male partners. Ang mga babaylan ay respetadong posisyon sa sa pre-Hispanic Philippine society. Mataas ang respeto natin sa mga babaylan na siyang nagiging healers at spiritual guides ng uh, ng mga sinaunang mga Pilipino. Nagkaroon lang naman ng problema nung dumating ang mga Spaniards at pinush nila ang Kristyanismo at Katolisismo sa Pilipinas. Doon nila sinira ang konsept, pinilit na sirain ang konsepto natin ng mga babaylan. At they forced their male-centric ideas about society sa atin. This, uh, itong homo, homophobic concept, con, konsepto nito, sa European society, na push lang yan artificially sa ating mga ninuno. Hindi yan normal para sa mga Pilipino. Because homosexuals are a normal and integral part of Filipino society. Are we willing ba na magpadikta up till now sa mga Spaniards o kaya sa mga Amerikano? Aren't, hindi ba dapat natin balikan ang pag, pagkilala at pagrespeto natin sa isa't isa na sinaunang naging tayo? at totoong naging original na pagka-Pilipino natin. Ako, ang question naman is, is naman homosexuality a mental disorder? According sa World Health Organization, kung saan diniklear nila ang May 17 bilang the International Day Against Homophobia, Transphobia, and Biphobia, the date of May 17 was specifically chosen to commemorate the World Health Organization's decision in 1990 to declassify, to declare that homosexuality is not a mental disorder. According to World Health Organization, hindi mental disorder or mental illness ang homosexuality. Matagal nang nawala yan sa definition ng mental disorder. Ang homosexuality is not a mental disorder. It is declared by the World Health Organization since 1990. Ngayon, next question. Paano naman? Hindi ba, ano ba ang, ano naman ang, de, ang definition at paniniwala ng American Psychiatrist Association? Ano ba ang tinatawag nilang gender dysphoria? Yun daw scientific or medical term ngayon para sa transgenderism. Wrong. Mali yan. Ang transgender ay iba sa gender dysphoria. A transgender simply refers to a person whose sex assignment at birth does not match their gender identity. Okay, yan ang inuulit-ulit ko kanina pa. Ngayon naman, some may iilan na transgender that experiences psychological distress, distress sila, masama yung pakiramdam nila, that results from an incongruence dahil hindi nagtutugma ang kanila ang kanilang gender identity, gender identity at yung sex na assigned sa kanila sa birth, sa, during their birth. Though gender dysphoria often begins in childhood, some people may not experience it 
until after puberty or much later. So ngayon, hindi, ang transgender ay hindi sakit. Pero isang mental condition ang tinatawag natin na gender dysphoria. Maraming rason ang gender, gender dysphoria. And most common na reason ng gender dysphoria is yung stress na nadudulot sa individual dahil sa dikta ng society. Transgenders and, and homosexuals experience discrimination in society. Itong mga stresses na ito, social stresses na ito, contrib contributes sa stress, sa depression na, na, na experience at nararamdaman ng mga individuals. So ano ba, ano ang ngayon ang gamot o, sa, o solusyon para sa gender dysphoria. Sabi ng mga, ng mga eksperto, hindi, hindi ito galing sa amin, people who are the transgender may pursue multiple domains of gender affirmation. Merong at least apat na klase ng recommended gender affirmation. First is social affirmation. One example of social, social affirmation is changing one's name. Pat na umu, pagbago-bago ng pangalan at ng pronouns na umaakma sa kanilang gender identity. Another is legal affirmation. Pag-change legally ng gender ng individual, ng gender ng individual sa society nila. Yung pap, sa birth certificate mo ipapa-change mo na lalaki ka kung ikaw uh, ikaw man ay assigned female at birth. Yung yung classification, yung pagkakaroon ng 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 pag declare sa, sa 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 ano legally sa sa Philippines sa sa, sa 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 government legally na ikaw kung ano ang iyong dapat na gender. Meron yung tawag na medical affirmation kung saan you take medicines para magkaroon ka ng physical characteristics na mas tumutugma sa gender identity mo. And most extreme ay surgical affirmation or sex reassignment surgery kung saan nagtitik na nag-undergo ka ng surgical process to change your sexual organ na para umukma ito sa gender identity which you na gusto mo or na, na, which your mind dictates oh, take note na hindi lahat ng tao na not all of course na take note that not all people who are transgender will desire all domains of gender affirmation as the, these are highly personal and individual choices. Okay? Some people would want social affirmation only, some want legal affirmation, some want medical affirmation, and some want to have surgical affirmation. All of these are normal and justified solutions to gender dysphoria. Recommended ito ng mga experts. Hindi ito dahil gusto lang ng individual. Hindi lang ito dikta ng kagustuhan ng mga individual. Ito ay lehitimong mga gamot at solusyon sa gender dysphoria. Okay? Ito lang ay mga basic definitions of terms. American Psych Psychiatric Association, which means, for example, cisgender describes a person whose gender identity aligns in a traditional sense with the sex assigned to them at birth. Non-binary uh, is a term used by individuals which identify as neither girl, woman, nor boy, or, or, or man. Gender diverse is simply an, an umbrella term describing individuals with gender identities and or expression that vary from expected developmental norms. This include people who identify as multiple genders or with no gender at all. Okay, now balik tayo sa aking core question. But why won't we support the happiness of others that do us no harm? Ano ba ang pag, why can't we respect yung, ka, yung kasayahan ng ibang individual? Lalo na, hindi ito nakakadulot ng masama sa atin. I believe that in sa, sa world na to, mala, marami ng problems. There's already a lot of problems about our existence, about our angst, our meaning and purpose in life. Bakit pa natin, I don't think it's credible na pigilan pa natin ang kaligayahan ng ibang tao. Lalo na, wala namang itong masamang, katulad ng pinakita ko, wala naman itong isang masamang epekto sa atin. Also, parang, 
hindi naman siguro tama na we should be obsessed about the sex, the private lives of others. Why we why are we obsessing with the sex life of, of other individuals? Why we, why are we obsessing with the gender identity? How people exercise their right to self determination? Hindi naman siguro tama yon. So there there is nothing wrong about being homosexual. It is simply a natural process that is normal to society in general and and is not an illness or an detriment to an individual. So I believe from from now that we should respect our individual humanity. Good day and more power. Um um after this uh this uh, discussion uh the the floor will be open for question and answers i'm willing to answer answer any question na, re, na relative dito sa ating topic wish you well and more power Okay, maraming salamat.